Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain Chad Gabs. This is TFE TV. We're out here on this lovely day. I was just speaking to these lovely people on this park bench over here who are having some nice food about how incredible it always looks after a bit of a storm. Yesterday, the day before, it's been raining nonstop. So we have this lovely opportunity to come out here and enjoy this day. And in today's video, I'm gonna get straight into it, but it's a little bit of off-leash, uh, a little bit of off-leash proofing with one of my board and train clients, Cora. She's a little mini Dotson, little long-haired Dotson. And I have Rosie with me as well. We're just gonna come out here and we're gonna enjoy ourselves. And maybe, you know, I'm gonna maybe talk about some things in reference to, you know, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, because this is just what I'm doing at the time. And typically when I'm posting content for you guys, that's just that's basically how I do it. Because, uh, you know, it just, it works better for me that way to just to, to kind of tell you guys without having to like, and there's not no scripted or anything like that. I'm not gonna, I don't do a lot of editing because it just takes too fucking long. So I'm just gonna kind of go through what it is what we're doing at the time. And without further ado, let's get into it. I got my girls over there. Uh, I got Rosie. You can see she's in the window ready to fucking party. You know, she's my 11 year old female. Um, she's the reason you're watching this video now. She's the face of my company. And you're going to see that I have a lot of trust in her while we're out here because we've earned that trust. And a part of what we're doing with Cora is we're just going to kind of, tr we're going to kind of like, you know, tread the waters and kind of see, you know, where she's at in reference to like competing motivators and things. Because in order for us to get to the point where we have the type of trust that Rosie and I do off leash, we got to prove some things. We got to get around these things. We got to do this a lot. Give her the feeling of what being off leash in a new environment is like because she's doing great at the arena, my property, but this is a completely new challenge for her. It's a new look, it's a new environment. It's going to provide new stimulation, new competing motivators, new looks, a completely new experience. That's why a lot of people come to me and say, well, my dog knows this, what X, Y, Z. Well, maybe your dog knows X, Y, Z in the kitchen right before lunch, but I don't think they know X, Y, Z in a completely new environment. That's why I'm like, okay, well, show me. And they're like, sit. And the dog's like, dirt. Well, you haven't practiced that in a multitude of different environments. And that's exactly what we're doing today with Miss Cora. I feel like I've been talking a lot. So let me go get these dogs. I'm just going to keep the camera rolling. You know what I mean? I'm just going to keep the camera rolling. Because uh, I just don't really got time to fucking chop videos up and shit like that. I got to turn my car off first. Don't touch that dial. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. The microphone has been a... It's been a little bit dodgy, you know, as of late. I haven't really have good uh, production. I haven't been a whole lot of good production um, value in this shit. Okay, pig. Go ahead. I know this is a little bit of a busy street, but we know our dog... We know our dog well. Come here. Good girl. And we know, you know, this is just very routine for us. And we're going to start off by having her on her long line, which is very light in weight. Um, because, again, she's doing well at the arena. But, you know, what if she shows me something here that she hadn't showed me at the arena? And then, you know, the other side to it is, you know, I have my leash in the event. I have my uh, leash for Rosie in the event that we have to put a leash on her if we come in close quarters with, with somebody else because we always want to honor and respect other people's space and they don't know that my dogs are really well behaved. You know, so people see an off-leash dog and they're like, holy fuck, I might get attacked. Maybe they've been attacked. This way! Pig with me! Good. Good. That's a good dogs. Good, so... Let's just get down to it. We're going we're gonna to keep filming here. So anyway, it's just good to have etiquette, man. You know, like there's not a whole lot going on here right now. And I'm always a real advocate for people leashing their dogs. But there's a difference, you know. If you've got dogs that are reliable off-leash and you can control them and you make sure that you don't invade anybody else's space, you're not invading anybody else's space, and you've gone through the hours and hours and hours of relationship building to get to the point where you have this reliability, I don't see a problem with it. Now, of course, if the law comes around and they're like, hey, put your dog on a leash. Okay, I'll put my dog on a leash, fair enough. But just to prove, you know, I've got the e-collar shit set up just as a backup. You know, um, I always give the first one free to the dogs. If they don't listen, well, at that point, we, uh, we call them home with our cell phone here. 
So, Rosie's taking a shit. Rosie, I ain't the smartest man in the world over here, but it just looks like you're taking a shit. Cora, here! Yes! Here! No! 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 Here! No! No! Cora! Yes! Fuck yeah. Good girl. Good choice. I don't know if you guys saw her running towards that fucking... Good girl. I don't know if you guys saw her running towards that jogger because she's so small. But she was immediately drawn to that jogger. Cora. Yes. Good girl. And uh, I didn't want her to go towards that jogger because that jogger is right next to a busy street. And that was awesome proofing opportunity. And I'm super glad that the work that we had put in, um, she understands she understands this, so we're able to pump the brakes on her because at the beginning of this, hey, here, good girl, yes. We taught her that it was the gas pedal first. Gas pedal, then brakes. Okay, gas pedal, then brakes. Cora, here, yes, it's a good. Shit like that, you know what I mean? Rosie, with me? Yes, our girl, come on. Good pig, good, good. Down. Good, good job, cool. So not a whole lot more, dude. We're gonna actually just start walking. I'm gonna turn the camera off and we're gonna run into situation after situation where she's gonna be you know, distracted by something or another and I'm just gonna continue to see if I could get her back. This is where we, this is where we earn the trust and where we, where we gain the knowledge of what are the things that my dog is drawn to, which is in most cases anything a person, a dog, a car, anything. Like all these things are gonna present opportunities for us to get the dog back. And as soon as they become intrigued by something else, this is when we're gonna be like, Cora, with me, yes, get her back. What happening over there is none of our business. It's absolutely none of our business. I would prefer that you come fucking hang around me and here, good girl pig, and just be with me, cause that's what we're doing. It's us. And then the rest of the world around us shouldn't really even matter. That's what the goal is. I'm the center of your world. You're the center of mine. Let's just get on that same page and we can live life happily ever after. We get to do more. You get to be off leash and go fucking party because, again, we go through this to get to that place so that we can enjoy life more. But it doesn't happen without dedication. It doesn't happen without understanding a little bit of the nuance. Now, of course, I'm not recommending you guys just go pop an e-collar on a dog and start banging and clanging because it doesn't work like that. I highly recommend you reach out to a professional who teaches this in the most fair and appropriate way possible so that you can get the most optimal results. I'm Captain Chad. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up on the video if you learned something. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. We're going to go fucking party, dude. No, Cora, leave it. Here. No, 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 no. Cora, get down. Good. Good job. Good. That's none of our business. Nope. Good. Good girl, mama. Nope. Come on, it's a better choice. It's a better choice. They're just minding their business. We now go over there. Pig. Good. Come on, let's keep practicing. Good job. Pig, with me. Nope. Yes, good girl. That's what we want. Good Hey guys, thanks for watching my videos. I hope they've been really helpful for you. Uh, if you want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You can go ahead and click this button right here or click on one of these two videos right here and you can see some other stuff that we put out. Thanks for watching.